Honestly, what feels like a really long time ago at this point, I was in Ohio and I went out to make some pictures that I never developed because at that time labs started shutting down. But I sent them off recently, got those photos back, and I remembered that I filmed a lot of those pictures that I made. So this week's video is a little bit of a vlog from just making some images in Ohio. You guys might know from the last couple of videos, I've been trying to make a nice image of a power plant. And that's exactly what I tried to do in the footage that you're about to watch. Looking back at this footage, now being stuck inside for a couple weeks already, it really feels a lot more valuable to put out this video where I'm out making pictures because hopefully that keeps the spirit of things alive and we can all be excited about going back to make pictures when this stuff is over. Keep in mind this video was made weeks before it was uploaded, so things were not severe at this point. It was really funny trying to film all this stuff alone in my car, but I was up by one of the Great Lakes as well, so I made some pictures out there and overall it was a really fun day. So here are some of those photos. I hope you enjoy. Here's the update. Today I'm driving around Ohio. Um, so I'm usually staying with my girlfriend in a town called Akron. Wow, that is really bright. Oh, do I need to shoot that? Yeah, I do. Oh man, wow, that is incredible. There we go. Look at that. I actually thought I was heading out of here, but then saw these nice, I don't know what these are called, but I've shot them so many times they're these beautiful golden so we're gonna snap a couple frames i'm on my second roll of the day i think today will just be pretty chill gonna try to take you guys along make some pictures and enjoy a nice sunset because it looks like it's going to be really good today uh light meter So with these, I don't know if you can even see me, but I like the movement in these. So I'm gonna try like a really slow shutter, like 1 60th. Let's see if that comes out. This is something I've never tried before, but I'm gonna try to use the ND filter from my video camera on my RZ to see if I can get a lower aperture because I want the stuff that's in the front of the photo to be really blurry and right now it's too bright to do that since the RZ only goes up to a 400th of a second. So let's see if that works out. Sorry if this shot looks like trash because it's overexposed. All right, here we go. So I should be able to shoot a couple stops. Uh-oh, thorns. I should be able to shoot a couple stops darker. Where was I before? Because Oh, I was over here. I think that worked. Ow. Even though there was thorns. So, gotta unlock my car, you freaking dimbus. So even though that, that was probably like six frames to get that photo right there, I feel like if that works out, it might actually be worth it. So I didn't know how to meter for it with the ND because I don't know how strong it is, but if that works out, then I'll be really stoked. Oh, that is so bright. So today I came out to, I think the town is called Erie. The lake is definitely called Erie. And there's a nuclear power plant here that I've been wanting to photograph for a while. I've just been waiting to come to my girlfriend's place before, um, I checked it out. First thing in the day was kind of that gas station that I had a look at, and that was just something I found on Google Maps. So I've scoped out a lot of this stuff on Google Maps, which is something that I like to do quite a bit. 
um, just get an idea of where you want to go in terms of perspective on things. So I've looked all around the lake here and this nuclear plant and found some good areas I want to explore. So that's what I'm doing now in this precious golden light. Obviously, I've got the RZ with me. I've got some Porsche 400 with me. Put my car right in the middle of the road. Is that a bad idea? Potentially. Let's do it quick. I think that worked out pretty well. I tried to get a little something in the foreground out of focus and there's a car coming behind me. So I'm gonna have to go. Just gonna drive around this area, see what kind of perspectives I can get on this thing. And yeah, unfortunately only one of the smokestacks is on. I would have liked it if both were on, but I'm glad I got at least one. So there's that too. So I guess with this power plant, what I'm looking for is something a little bit contrasting, like a power plant is very industrial. And so I'm trying to combine it with nature in some kind of way in the photo to make for hopefully something interesting looking. So I'm trying my best. Oh, beautiful. Let me try and not get my car stuck because I have a history of doing that. I just got to like the entrance of the power plant a little bit sketchy because I feel like I might get kicked out even though I'm not yet on private property, but I'm going to load up my third roll of the night. Mmm, delicious snack. I'm gonna walk into that field, see what kind of compositions I can find. This is kind of what I was looking for because before I was on the other side of the power plant, now I'm kind of on this side where the sun is backlighting the smoke. So it looks much more highlighted against the sky, which is what I was looking for. Came here with just the right light. So I'm gonna check it out, see what kind of photos I can find. Here I am. I think that was really successful. I'm gonna hop back in the car and try my best to not waste any precious light out here. I think that worked out really well in my favor in terms of kind of like the foliage in the foreground. The light was perfect at the time right there. And I think that was that contrast of nature and industrial power plant that I was looking for. I had a really great time out there, very happy with the results and definitely a nice photo to add to that collection of ongoing landscapes that I feel like I've been making for the past three, four years. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already because I upload videos every week. You can hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload because sometimes YouTube doesn't notify people. So that's it for now. Peace.